Hey guys, so today y'all requested, a couple of you guys requested on a gear bag video. So I'm gonna just do a gear bag video on that and a review that goes with it. So this is all my gear laid out right here. Um, what I usually wear, I wear these joggers. They got a little bit of knee pads-ish. You could call them knee pads. Um, I'm saving up for some actual paintball pants right now. And I wear a muscle shirt. I know it may sound like a dumb idea. I know it may sound like a dumb idea, but uh, once you get into it, into it a little bit more, then you can start um, taking off layers, and that's where I'm at right now. But always wear pants. Always wear pants when you're going paintballing. No exceptions. No exceptions. On top, it doesn't really matter what you wear. Um, a recommendation would be to get gloves. I know gloves, gloves could be a bit expensive, but these, you could get them at Dick's, Big Five, cost you like eight bucks plus tax. And these are good, the, um, so it has padding on the knuckles and all over the hand, and they're half finger, so if you put them on, put them on it's gonna look like this it's gonna look like that and you're gonna wrap this around and then tighten it to your um, perforation and and so literally if you get hit right there it's not you're not gonna feel anything I've gotten hit right there and you barely even feel it so that's that's a plus because I know people that have like chipped off a piece of their nails because they didn't wear gloves or they didn't have any. This is my mask, the most important piece of equipment. Um, Fifty dollars a dick, really good mask. Thermal lenses come with it, and um, chin strap, ears, really good tightening mechanism. And that's my mask right there. That's how I film all my videos too. I'm, I'm going to get a mount right here. So the GoPro is going to be about right there on the side. So I'm going to get a bit of some better footage. And then... Um, some of you guys... Most of you guys will probably not know what these are. But these are O-rings used for um, inside the gun or around the CO2 tank. Which I will get to in a bit. And for a pack of like 10, it's like $3, so they're really convenient and they last you a pretty long time. And these basically you need if a part breaks down inside your gun or if the O-ring snaps off when you're taking off the CO2 tank. Squeegee, really helpful, really helpful tool. Um, whenever a ball breaks inside, um, what you do, you screw off the barrel put this through it and then out comes this right here on the other side and you just pull it all the way through and then it'll have a bunch of paint on these little hinges right here and so that's really helpful if you don't want to spend hours cleaning cleaning out your gun um, now to the good stuff so my tank CO2 tank 20 ounce like, if you're gonna get one of these, I recommend a 20 ounce, so, because it's not too heavy, but not too light, and it holds, shoot, let's see, I think 1.2K shots, so let's say 1,200 shots come out from this, it'll last you, like, if you're just shooting in the backyard, maybe every week you're shooting, like, 200 balls, it'll last you almost two months without filling it up, and if you do eventually, um, run out of air it'll make a noise and you'll realize it but don't get scared when it runs out of air just go fill it up at Dick Sporting Goods or um, Yellow Mart um, down the street or wherever your local place is um, it's my hopper I will be getting an electronic hopper um, but this is what I have right now it's called an Empire Splitter 200 rounds really easy to open no problems no problems at all and just a good hopper overall it feeds like six balls per second even though it's not electronic so that's good to have good to have if you have a semi-auto marker which 
this is it right here. This is my gun. It's called a Defy Vertex. Really nice gun. I really like it. Handles well. Very accurate. Very nice looking, in my opinion. Trigger, very light. And um, barrel's good, especially since it comes with it. The stock barrel's really good for the price. And on the feed neck, feed neck's a bit of a pain, but all you gotta do, this mechanism right here with the O-rings, you just screw that in and it'll clamp in. Um, that's where the CO2 goes, obviously. And then this is a, a handle by air regulator. So all the air goes through here. If you loosen it, that's not going to be good for your gun. So make sure it's always tight when you're going into the field. Um, grips. It's on and off safety. Bolt. The thing I like about it is when you take it out, it's just one bolt. There's no O-rings that go with it, so that keeps it really convenient, especially if you don't really know how to do maintenance. And really easy to slide back in. And there you go. Back to normal. So really good gun. Velocity change in the back. And take that out and it's a spring. But it's a bit too long for me to show you guys. And that's the gun right there that I have. $65 on ANS gear. Was $90. Not making these much anymore. So get it, get them before they're gone. Really good gun. I really recommend um, the barrel. This is the barrel sock that I bought with it. Four bucks, die, die barrel sock, really good and really safety conscious. Um, it's like it's a really good barrel sock for how much it costs. Um, and then my new pod pack, I have. I'm gonna show you the pods first. It's a blue, blue Genix Global pod, not the most expensive and the best pod. But it'll get you going, especially if you're beginning out. Tipman, this one's a little bit better and a little bit easier open. And a little bit lighter. But the thing is, it's a little bit softer. So, this might, like if it gets hit with the paintball, it might break a little bit easier. And, and then, we'll just put these back in. Let's drop all these handles back in. And mine is a four vertical pod vest, Genex Global 2. Not the best pod pack in the world, but it'll get you going, like I said. Um, very, comf very comfortable. Um, if you're a bit skinnier, there's an adjustable right here. It's an adjustable right here. You take that off and just put it to your preference. So let's put this on. Comes around the waist, pods right there. No problem taking it out, and it'll get you going through the game. Um, this pod pack was twenty bucks on ANS gear. Everything I own here, except for my mask and my tank and my clothes, were from ANS gear. So, and really cheap guns for a really good price too. Anything you really need is on there, like, and I mean everything. So, that's my gear bag. If you guys have any questions, just hit me up or whatever. Like, comment, all that other junk, and see you guys next time.